Mm, oh wow. boy. Hey, it looks pretty it's good. Gonna be good. Are you familiar with the work of Hiromu Arakawa? Probably. Just about everybody has heard the story of One-Armed Ed the Alchemist and his big old robot pal, but for some reason no one ever brings up its awkward hillbilly cousin, Silver Spoon. Silver Spoon is a very grounded slice of life show that is centered around an agricultural school in rural Japan. It's really interesting, and one of the few exceptions where an anime slice of life ends up being much more than meets the eye. I'm gonna go ahead and admit that I really like this show, and I'm gonna attempt to remain as unbiased as possible, but let it be known that I think Silver Spoon is criminally underrated. And while that may subvert your opinion of this review, I implore you to stick around and find out why Silver Spoon is worth a watch. Silver Spoon has a whole lot to say, and it does a fantastic job saying it. It follows the story of the soft-spoken Yugo Hotchkin, who has enrolled at an agricultural school in order to get as far away from his parents as possible. Hotchkin has a strained relationship with his family because of the constant pressure his father put on him while he was living at home. Hotchkin is a bit of a city slicker, and at first he has a lack of respect for his classmates and their prospective careers. Though as the story progresses, he learns the important values of a hard day's work and how to take pleasure in the little things in life, such as a good home-cooked meal. Hotchkin grows as he learns to love his classmates and himself for who they are inside. He has a deep desire to be there for people in need, and the story is moved forward by this reliability towards his friends. Silver Spoon displays these simple acts of kindness and friendship in a weirdly realistic way. Nothing this show does ever feels too over the top or forced, and that goes a long way to keep things feeling both grounded and heartfelt. An emotional warmth radiates from the brilliant writing, and as you curl up in the hearth of these loving characters, it's really hard not to smile. There is something overwhelming about the way this story just breathes. It's very organic and incredibly touching. If you are a fan of how Full Metal Alchemist made you feel emotionally connected to its characters, then prepare to be swept away, because this is the primary focus of Silver Spoon. Hiromu outdid herself for the story, and while I do wish A1 Pictures had adapted a bit more of the manga, I believe director Tomihiko Ito did a good job of capturing the complex emotions of Silver Spoon in a nice little 22 episode bottle. This show has a ton of heart, and it goes on plenty long enough to show that. Oh my goodness, what a cast. Silver Spoon's characters and their interactions between each other are extremely colorful, unique, and refreshing. I love every single one of them, right down to the community pup, and each of them offers their own value in terms of emotional investment and character development alike. While just about every character in this show could easily pass for a best boy or girl, the real focus of the show, and the meat of its thematics, lie within Hotchkin, his love interest and closest friend Aki, and her childhood friend Kamomba. Each of these three has a story arc that is centric around their personal connections to their families, and it relays the message that sometimes falling in line and becoming victim to overbearing parents' expectations can do more harm than good. That is in the sense that in order for them to feel complete, they each have to find their own path rather than the one their parents laid out for them. However, it communicates this message while maintaining the importance of the responsibilities one has to their own family. Establishing an ideal that while parents should be there to make sacrifices for their children, the reverse is true as well in order for a proper family dynamic to work. Silver Spoon sets up a give-and-take ideology and uses this to build lovable and respectable relationships that any slice of life fan will surely endure. The art in Silver Spoon? Amazing! It's a unique and colorful style that mimics the designs of Harakawa in a way that is obviously inspired but keeps originality. It's hard to find a shot in this show that looks bad as a standalone. But how do these shots travel from one to another in the vessel of animation? Not well. Honestly, not well at all. The animation in Silver Spoon ranges from bad to passable. Locomotive movement always looks relatively stiff and mundane, so much so that it can feel downright lifeless at times. The show takes advantage of most shots involving dialogue, or any excuse to stay still really, and sort of jumps on it by keeping the things in frame completely still. This is a common problem amongst anime, but just because it's a critique that blankets the industry doesn't mean that Silver Spoon is safe from being called out on it. And it was a lazy convenience that A1 Pictures took advantage of because they knew that the heartfelt characters and thematics would distract the viewer from boring animation. It isn't a very theatrical show, so they knew they could get away by cutting corners. That's all fine and good, but in the end of it all, Silver Spoon's animation is still very unspecial. Now, all that being said, this section isn't done yet, because I haven't brought up the show's pitch-perfect score. Each track is a beautiful representation of what the show has to offer in terms of both entertainment value and emotional merit. Most are very relaxing and have a unique sort of droll to them that reminds me of the bliss of fall. And that's just the backing tracks. I know what most of you anime fans really care about, and that would be the over-glorified commercials in the beginning and end of the show. The OPs and the EDs. And uh, Silver Spoons are, let me tell you, mwah, mwah, absolutely magnifico. They are just fucking fantastic. Some of my favorite of all time, really, but, and this is a big old but, the first OP is hot putrid garbage, and you are just going to have to stomach through it so that you can get to the beautiful melodies that await you on the horizon. Also, the first ED is a bit of a jam, so that more than makes up for it. OP and ED2, however, are both perfect musically, legitimate bops that I still listen to on a regular basis. None of the four music videos are much to write home about visually, maybe the second ED, but just like the show itself, the substance more than makes up for what it lacks in visual eye candy. So there you have it. 
A beautiful show with stiff animation about a boy, a farm, and his pig. It's a simple, feel-good kind of drama that I recommend to you on a day when you just aren't feeling up to it. Watching this pleasant little slice of life feels like a nice warm hug, and I think that it's something that everyone should give themselves the chance to experience, whether they are interested in the agricultural aspects of the show or not. Check out Silver Spoon if you have the chance, I promise you won't regret it. Or, well, you know, don't.